Hi everyone, welcome to the Bite Size Workshop today, Inner Minds Exploring Your Mental Health Through Drawing. So I'm Edwina, today's artist, and so in today's workshop we will be creating some self-portraits with a little twist, and we'll be using a range of different mark making techniques, and at the end of the workshop I hope that we'll all be able to build a tool for our first step towards self-exploration and to start a conversation with ourselves. So before we start our process of art making, I would like to mention the, the exhibition that is linked to today's workshop. So I'm currently showing work in a City Arts ex Produce exhibition at the Nottingham University Institute of Mental Health and it's open until 31st of March. And following that, the exhibition will move to Window Gallery at City Arts in Hockley and this will be held from 19th of April to 31st of May. So in today's workshop, it is designed in a way so you can follow along. So here are the materials that you'll need. So here I got a few pieces of paper. I got paper in A4 size, but you can use paper in any size you want. And I got a pair of scissors, some glue, and with art materials, I got some oil pastels. Usually I work with watercolor, which I got some today as well. But because it will take more time to dry, so I'll be using oil pastels and pencil in particular. So I want to set an intention to direct the art making today. Um, while we are creating self-portraits, I want we want to represent who, how we feel. We want to take what's inside and get it out there. So don't worry if you haven't drawn before. It's not about techniques. So I would say I'm an artist that is comfortable with art making and art itself. But sometimes I do draw stick figures when I just need the information to get out. So it's about willingness and openness. So there's no right or wrong way to draw. With the colors and mediums, it's about um, intuitive choosing choices. And the process really asks you to trust yourself, trust your inner knowings. And basically, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. And so it's a live stream today. So if, I, if you have any questions, just feel free to comment in the chat box. So before we start the self-portrait, I would like us to do a quick activity to get into the flow. So with a paper in front of you, I'm using one of these A4 paper, we're going to create some mark making. So I have some pencil, some foam brush, brushes, pastels and color pencils so basically what map making is is that it describes lines marks and textures that used to build up an artwork so what i love about map making is that you can use it in a very loose and gestural way but you can also use it in a very controlled way so we're gonna Use two, three minutes now to create as much marks as you could. So go. So I'm now doing different marks from with different materials. And I do suggest you to overlap different mediums because sometimes you will find that they work really well together, even if they're fighting with each other. So I really love drawing little strokes. And also one technique that I really like is to overlay oil pastels with watercolor because they fight with each other so much that I love the textures that it shows. So we have one minute left. I notice I'm drawing the same marks. And then the dots. So the more you do mark making and you'll figure out, you notice patterns that you do often and that might become your personal style.
So that's what I did here in two minutes. Hopefully you did some mop making as well. So I'm going to put that on the side where you can still see. And we are going to use that as a reference to go back to when we create our self portrait. I'm going to put this in. So now with another two pieces of paper, we are going to trace out a size to put on another piece of paper for our head. So for me, I would suggest using the size of your palm would be a good start. So I'm going to quickly trace out a size there. You could use a ruler, but I'm quite happy with it not being straight. So I'm going to cut that out. So now I've got a piece of paper here, which I would like it to be slightly smaller, actually. Which is where I'm going to put, draw my head, basically. Yeah. And so what I'm going to do here, actually, just a little bit more. But it could be in any size you want. So this is my head. I'm going to fold it in right here. It would be around one centimeter, two centimeter. And so now, so now I got this little flap here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see where I'm going to put it. You can put it lower where you have a smaller body. If you put it higher, the size of the body would be bigger. So I'm going to put it around here. So I'm going to put a glue stick on. Then I'm going to glue it over here. So now what you'll have it's a piece of paper and with another flap of paper here. Yay! So now with a pencil, I'm going to draw out the body. So in a lot of my work, I have like a huge body that looks like a mountain, but it could be any size you want. And with an easier way to draw the body, I'm going to just draw what I'm wearing today and the colors I'm wearing today. So I'm going to draw a hand here. Another hand here. You could be doing any movement, any posture. I'm going to draw some hands. Make sure I draw five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. And it's still really cold here today. So I'm going to draw a huge cup of tea for myself. And then the neck here. The, drop that part off. And so now I'm going to color in my body using the map making collection that I just did. But I'm going to use the colors on me. There's green, there's green, there is some blue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to color in. What I love about oil pastels is that it covers up a large area and then it really goes well with watercolor. So I'm actually drawing a very simple shape for the body. But let me know if I'm working too quick or what stage are you at now. Coloring in. 
and hopefully you can see the really bold blue color I'm using. With different mediums, I think the more you use it, the more comfortable you'll get with it. Because I think every medium takes time to for you to get to know it and for the medium to get to know you. But sometimes it's just about the process. And today, definitely, it's about a process rather than the outcome. Going a bit... And with this, and I'm going to paint my hands in a different color. And then what I love to do afterwards. So I paint this. is that I will use watercolor to go through it a bit so then you get these really beautiful stain on the oil pastel but before that I would like to also overlay it with pencils so I would definitely recommend you to use more than two, one medium so you can see how different mediums work together So again, in a lot of my work, I do use watercolor a lot, but then it takes a lot of time to dry as I always like to overwater it. What is the name of this? Sorry, I still have a question. What is the name of this color in oil pastel? Yes. So I'm using oil pastels here, this is brown. But can you see? I mean, I literally got this from my husband's old room, like in her, his high school. So I didn't bought it. I always like to collect people's old art um, supplies. Because a lot of people like bought their art supplies in high school and then they're in the room for like 10 years in a paint dryer and, and always like, oh, just give it to me, I'll use it. So, and then I'm going to quickly go in with a brighter color. And if you can see, the watercolor is fighting with the oil pastel, but then it creates stains afterwards on it. So that is a quick drawing of my body. And now we're going to move to the head. So I would suggest you to draw a self-portrait of your current self, how you're feeling today. You can even design a character for yourself. So the character for myself right, is that I always draw myself as a tree, as a little tree person since I was 15, 16. And I think the definition of trees or tree person for me changes over time. Changes over time and, and nowadays I collect um, picture books of trees as well and tree really makes sense to me when I think about myself and people that at this poem that I really like it's titled be a tree and then it says that we're all like trees we're all individuals but our roots are all tangled together so you can draw it yourself now or even design a character for yourself So let me know how do you decide to draw yourself. I 
Again, these are quick drawings. You can always go back to it afterwards. Or use these as um, inspiration for your future drawings. Mm -hmm. So I always like to draw trees from my imagination rather than looking at an actual tree because I think it allows you to be more expressive with your drawing. So I draw a little face for it. I don't know that doesn't look like me, but I think it looks like me. I have two little leaves as well. So this is me. I'm going to put a little bird here so I'm not lonely. Um, someone had a question. I did the mark making out on paper to make it smaller than A4 and glue one edge onto my mark making paper. Where are you painting your self portrait? So what I did here is I got a piece of paper. My mark making work is here that I test out different mark making techniques. And then here is that I cut a smaller piece of paper. A smaller the paper will be smaller than the actual the paper I'm drawing on. And then I create a flap on it, so I glue this on. Maybe this is too bright for you to see, but let me know if you if you can see this and if you figure out what's happening. And so I created my little self portrait of a little tree person and now we're going to flip it over. Oh, wait, sorry. Before we flip it over, it would be great if we can just trace quickly off the edges. So then we create a little line here so we know where does this paper go. So we're going to slap it here. And now we're going to draw our inner mind. So about inspiration of inner mind, we could um, draw in for in sorry inspiration from what are you thinking now or how does your safe space look like a safe space could be some somewhere of an actual space or somewhere you couldn't see and if you're struggling to get into that mindset you could look around you perhaps you're at your home now perhaps you're a different place is this your safe space what's around you and could those be inspiration um how do you feel being at that space and physically and mentally now or even what would you like to be in your inner mind and there's lots of textures and colors that you could use in your process thinking about the mark making you did just now so I'm going to draw a very huge shape it could be any shape you like it doesn't even have to have a shape and I think what I'm going to draw because I just traveled back to UK from Hong Kong and I would like to draw my home in Hong Kong. A lot of my works are about inner minds, about my own stories, about people's stories. And a lot of times they're quite abstract and sometimes they're quite literal as in it's actually a place that I'm illustrating. So I'm doing little marks with the pastel using different colors. I'm feeling very colorful today. And 
these are little houses. that I'm drawing. You could also see this process as mindful drawing where we're focusing about the process, drawing lines and intuitive drawing. If you're struggling, you can think about what are you thinking right now and how you're feeling right now and what colors are on your mind. Is there a soundscape in your mind? Is there a visual image in your mind? So I'm drawing a lot of little houses because from where I'm from in Hong Kong, it's a very tight space where there's just loads of buildings everywhere and everyone feels like they don't have enough space at home or when they're outside. And although it's like that, but I kind of miss that. And of course, um, when you're having conversations with yourself or self-exploration, there are many different forms, not just through drawing. It comes in different, many different art forms, through writing, through taking photos. But I guess for me, um, throughout life that I question about a lot of things, I'm really curious about a lot of things, and I realize that art or drawing is my way to as my outlet as in to express those opinions about things and those curiosity about things so i'm drawing more houses i know on the screen it looks like little male squares i would love to see what you're drawing if you text the ad when if you share on your stories on instagram and text the ads i might be able to see it I'm halfway through and I'm just going to quickly show you what we're doing here. So that is my outer head. And then when I flip it over, that's my inner head. Um, I love my work. It's about archiving stories, archiving people's stories, people that don't have a voice, people that have their voice taken away because we live in a society now that a lot of stories are being erased and a lot of people are being erased. And But that through that process, we also have to remind ourselves that our stories are important to our stories. It's not less important than other people's stories. And I hope that in today's small bite-sized workshop that it make me, you think about your own stories and and they are as important as everyone else's stories. Can make lines here. I can't believe half an hour almost passed. Usually when I work on one piece, it takes me from two hours to three days, depending on how big it is. And for some pieces, it takes me a month to finish. But I think these are great activity to do weekly or when you have time. 
to actually process what's on your mind right now without being sometimes we're also overloaded and we're overthinking and there's so much going on in our mind and we couldn't put it down in words and i think drawing kind of is very helpful in those times So I have loads of houses now, but I'm going to draw myself somewhere. I'm going to put myself here. Let me know what kind of art mediums are you using today? Are you using pencils only? Or are you using some colors today? Sometimes my work are quite, I guess the colors are quite um, subtle, as in it's in beige, earthy tones, but sometimes it's really colorful. So it really depends on the subject matter I'm approaching and my mood, basically. I know that it's almost time. I wonder half you where are you, what stage are you at now with your self portrait? I'm going to quickly color in, make more marks. Oh, I'm almost done with my work, but of course I'm not done yet. It's, it can always be inspiration for making bigger work. But this is also a conversation with yourself, as in you asking yourself, how are you today? And I asking myself, how am I today? And for me, I miss home today. And this is my little self-portrait of my outer head and inner mind. So, and maybe next time when you do this again, you could remove the outer head and we could start with the inner head. So this is a very brief introduction towards how I work as well. So I do have some examples of art pieces, which we shall show. Works like this, where I create these work using those processes of inner minds. And some are from my own stories, some are from collective stories. And again, on um, my exhibition at Institute of Mental is till very first of March, and then we're going to move the exhibition to the window display at City Art in Hockley from 17th of April till very first of May. And I'm going to have some new works there as well. So I hope you enjoy today's session. I hope you learned something today. I hope you hope it was a chance for you to have a conversation with yourself, and I hope that you now are slowly learn that your stories are as important as your stories and it is very valid for yourself and others but thank you so much for today and hope you enjoy oh. um i'm using like someone say i'm using acrylic paint oh i love using acrylic so i always use acrylic on big canvases and someone said i'm just using color pencils. I never draw paint, so I haven't got others today. Today, I just want to do something I don't usually do. Yes, I think, as I said in the beginning, it is about openness and willingness. It is about stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new, and that sometimes is enough, and techniques aren't that important. Uh, thank you so much.